Welcome. In this video, we'll explore the fascinating story of the Ashkenazi Jewish haplogroups, the ancient paternal and maternal genetic lineages that connect this community to the Levant, the Mediterranean, and Europe. Through the science of Y-DNA and MT-DNA, we can trace the migrations, diasporas, and cultural resilience that shaped the Ashkenazi people. Haplogroups are genetic markers passed down unchanged for thousands of years. Y-DNA haplogroups trace direct paternal lineage from father to son. MT-DNA haplogroups trace direct maternal lineage from mother to children. Each haplogroup belongs to a broader tree that allows scientists to reconstruct the deep ancestry and geographic origins of populations. Y-DNA shows that about 65 to 75 percent of Ashkenazi paternal ancestry comes from the Middle East, particularly the ancient Levant. The remaining 25 to 35 percent is of European or Mediterranean origin, likely reflecting early male converts and later admixture in the Greco-Roman and medieval periods. The major Ashkenazi Y-DNA haplogroups are J1, especially J1P58. Approximately 20% originates in the Levant, strongly associated with Semitic populations and found in both Jewish and Arab men, present in Kohanim lineages, J2, J2A, and J2B. Approximately 15% Eastern Mediterranean in origin, linked to ancient Israelites and broader Levantine and Anatolian populations. E1B1B, mainly E-M35, E-M123, approximately 20% Middle Eastern origin, shared with North Africans and some Southern Europeans, common among Jews and other Semitic groups. R1A, Ashkenazi branch, R1A-Y2619, approximately 10 to 12%. Despite its wide presence in Eastern Europe, this specific Jewish subclade is unique to Ashkenazi Jews and is thought to have originated in the Middle East or Mediterranean, not Slavic regions. R1b, R1b-M269, approximately 10 to 15% A, pan-European haplogroup. In Ashkenazim, this likely reflects limited assimilation or conversion events in the Roman Empire or early medieval Europe. G2c, Q, and other minor haplogroups, approximately 5 to 8 percent. These include lineages from the Caucasus, Near East, and Eurasian Steppe, often traceable to ancient Levantine or Anatolian populations. Summary Levantine, Middle Eastern paternal origin, approximately 70 percent, European Mediterranean paternal input, approximately 30 percent. The maternal picture is more complex. Unlike Y-DNA, most Ashkenazi MT-DNA haplogroups are of European or Anatolian origin. Studies estimate approximately 40% Middle Eastern, Near Eastern, approximately 60% European, Mediterranean. The four main Ashkenazi maternal haplogroups, K1A1B1A, K1A9, H7, and N1B, make up over 70% of all Ashkenazi mtDNA. K1A1, B1A, tilde, 32%. This haplogroup likely originated in Europe or Anatolia, though its Ashkenazi-specific branch may have formed in the Jewish diaspora in Italy or the Balkans. K1A9, Patos, 12%. Also of European or Anatolian origin, showing signs of a bottleneck effect. H7 tilde 10%, believed to be of European origin, part of the wider haplogroup H, which is dominant in Europe. N1B, approximately 10%, clearly Middle Eastern, found among Jews and non Jewish Levantine populations. A strong signal of ancient Israelite maternal ancestry. Other Middle Eastern lineages include J1C, approximately 4%. U6, approximately 2%. T, 2, approximately 4%, in some cases traceable to the Near East. Summary, Middle Eastern maternal haplogroups, approximately 40%, 
European, Anatolian maternal haplogroups, approximately 60%. This suggests a historical pattern of Jewish men migrating from the Levant and forming communities with women of local origin, particularly in the Greco-Roman world. Both the Y-DNA and MT-DNA of Ashkenazi Jews show signs of a strong founder effect. This means today's Ashkenazim descend from a relatively small number of individuals who lived around 600 to 1,000 years ago, likely in the Rhine Valley or northern Italy. This bottleneck, followed by rapid population growth, explains the limited diversity in haplogroups, especially maternally. Despite this, both sides of the lineage retain clear Levantine signatures, consistent with ancient Israelite origins. Ashkenazi Jews are genetically closest to other Jewish populations, especially Sephardim and Mizrahim. Their haplogroups reflect deep roots in the ancient Near East, supported by historical and linguistic evidence. The European admixture, especially on the maternal side, reflects the realities of diaspora life, conversion, and survival. Now that we've looked at the Y-DNA and MT-DNA lineages separately, let's bring them together. When we combine paternal and maternal haplogroups, we get a clearer picture of Ashkenazi Jewish origins. Studies show that about 65 to 75 percent of Ashkenazi Y-DNA is Middle Eastern, mainly from the Levant. In contrast, about 60 to 65 percent of Ashkenazi MT-DNA is European or Anatolian, mostly from women who joined Jewish communities during the diaspora. Averaging across both lines, the result is about 55 to 60 percent Middle Eastern ancestry, compared to 40 to 45 percent from European and Mediterranean sources. But when we focus specifically on the Levant, the ancient land of Israel, we find that around 40 to 50 percent of Ashkenazi haplogroups likely originate with ancient Israelite populations. This includes paternal lineages like J1P58, J2A, and EM123, and maternal ones like N1B, J1C, and T2 that show deep roots in the Near East. These haplogroups are not just genetic markers. They're living evidence of a 3,000-year journey, stretching from the hills of Judea to the synagogues of medieval Europe. Ashkenazi Jews are not a people apart, but a branch of the ancient Jewish tree, rooted in the land of Israel and shaped by the tides of history. In every generation, these haplogroups have carried the memory of origin, one that ties Ashkenazi Jews back to the cradle of their faith, language, and identity. Far from being an isolated group, Ashkenazi Jews are a product of Middle Eastern origins, Mediterranean migrations, and European adaptation, all while preserving a distinct and continuous Jewish identity. Ashkenazi haplogroups are not just genetic labels. They're echoes of a 3,000-year-old journey from ancient Israel through Babylon, Rome, and into modern Europe. Thank you for joining us in uncovering this remarkable genetic legacy. Subscribe for more deep dives into Jewish ancestry, genetics, and history.